learned today, 22, 24-year-old mother, how they drive their kids crazy. They call the kid over, come over here, honey, come over here. I don't want you to go through what your mother went through. What did they go through? They terrified the kid. You're gonna go to college. I'll kill you, but you're gonna go to college. If all the kids in the world went to college, who's gonna clean the fish? Let me explain the word love to your children without using the words. We say, let the teachers teach our kids about that. You gotta teach your kids. My father, God bless him, never went to school. But when I come to... Mm. <laughs> what a genius, my father. On my 14th birthday, he says, Patsy, today you're 14. Tell me, last night when you went to bed, did you feel something in your stomach going... I said, yeah, Papa, there was a gas pain. <laughs> he said, Patsy, do you know where you came from? I said, yeah, 38th Street and 14th Avenue. <laughs> He said, I mean, do you know how you was a born? I said, no, Papa. He said, I'm going to explain to you. And when you're 35 years old, you will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is how my father explained it. He said, make a believe I'm the farmer. And your mother, she was the farm. And one night we got together, we planted the seed. And you became the flower. I'm running around the streets. I'm a flower. I'm a flower. I'm a flower. <laughs> and love also means taking Mama and Papa out once in a while. They're getting old. In the summertime, I say, Mama, don't cook. I'm taking you and Papa on a picnic. Did you ever take an Italian father on a picnic? They never talk. Cigar in the mouth, knife in the hand. They're looking for the mushrooms. Where are they? Here's one. Here's one. Here's one. <laughs> takes the mushrooms home, you think it was gold that he found. Puts it in a pot of boiling water, takes a quarter out of his pocket. Throws the quarter in the water. He tells you if the quarter turns black, the mushrooms are poison. That quarter used to turn black, it didn't mean nothing. He ate the mushrooms, drank the water, put the quarter back in his pocket again. That's what they call love. How do you explain this to the kids? My son, 11 years old, my son. He threatened me, I'm the father. He said, how do you like it? I ain't gonna graduate. <laughs> Unless you buy me a stingray. I went to the fish market. I got him one this big. I shoved it right in his nose. I said, hey, here's your stingray. <laughs> my mother bought shoes, nine pair for $3. Whether they fit you or not, you wore them. High heels, low heels, you wore them. I said, Mom, my shoes are tight. Why don't you fold your toes? <laughs> At Christmas time, we spent $200 for toys on our children. What do they do? They play with it one hour. I'm tired of it. You know what my toy was? When the sole hung down from my shoe, I went, for the doom, for the doom, for the doom, for the doom, for the doom. And if my father told me that was a horse, I went, bada bing, bada bing. <laughs> That's what they call love today. But what is the answer, ladies and gentlemen? Very simple. Do yourself a favor. Don't ever be ashamed of what you are. Because I'm not ashamed of what you are. I'm worried about what I am. I love you. Thanks. Patty Cooper, a stand-up comedian well known for his appearances on Seinfeld, analyzed this and Howard Stern's radio show. He has died, according to his friends and family. He was 93 years old. Cooper's wife, Emily Connor, confirmed his death in a statement shared Wednesday, according to the New York Times. Steve Garlin, who produced and wrote with Cooper, also confirmed his death, writing on Facebook, I'm heartbroken to hear the sad news of the passing of my great friend, Pat Cooper. The comic reportedly died at his Las Vegas home, but a cause of death has not yet been released. Garlin told Entertainment Weekly Cooper was telling jokes up until the end and had a lot of health problems. Cooper's career began in 1950s at small clubs on the East Coast. The Times reports. He later served as the opening act for the likes of Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and Jelly Lewis, and appeared on multiple TV shows, including those hosted by Dean Martin and Mel Griffin. In the late 1990s, Cooper appeared as himself on Seinfeld, chastising Jelly Seinfeld for losing a jacket. Cooper's other acting jobs included roles in Analyze This, Analyze That, and L.A. Law. Cooper continued performing at clubs, casinos, and the iconic Manhattan Friars Club until he retired in 2012, according to the Times. He is survived by Connor, his three sisters, 
his three children and five grandchildren, according to the Hollywood Reporter. May he so rest in peace. Thank you so much for watching.